<laughs> Welcome back to another mid motion vlog. We're here. We're in Steve's uh, Schmoobaroo. We're about to go get another new car. Yeah, so we're going to get Steve a uh, a bagged car. It's bagged. It's a car. And it's German. It's German. So 45 years old. 45 years old. Is it diesel? It's and a no, diesel. Yeah. And no, it's not a uh, a Beetle. It's not a Beetle. It's 45 years old. And it's bagged. My first car I bought, if you guys go over to my channel, you link can, you in description. See, you can see baby Steve and Nick like two years ago. Two years ago. That was like legendary times for Steve and Nick. Stevie B vlogs, link in the description. I uh, bought a 98 Forester, Japanese because of Subaru. And then I bought a 1990 Mazda Miata. Still have it. That's Japanese. It's beautiful. And then I it's bought sexy. this uh, 2002 Subaru Outback POS as a winter beater also Japanese and I don't like it so I'm gonna go um, gonna go try my luck with German cars <laughs> you idiot oh my god dude this looks gnarly Can I just get open? Oh, yeah. I wanna see this oh my goodness oh my gosh Oh, you got two compressors? Okay. Yep. Yeah, two that's compressors. nice. There's a spare tank in there so you can set it up with two tanks. Wow. Oh, wow. There's another tank in there. Sit down that seat, see how springy it is. Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Is that funny? Dude, this is a like a large interior. I know. Like, I don't know if you can tell by this video, yeah, but it's like. Original interior? Yeah. The only wow. Thing bad is the crack dash, but that's with any old car. Yeah. Yeah. Normal thing for any old car. Any car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> AKA my 240 crack dash life. I don't know how to fix it. If you guys know how to fix it, comment down below. Or if I should do like suede or something, I have no idea what I should do. Wow. Just so you guys have a little bit of a backstory, Steve is actually trading the Subaru for this. To take the key out, you, this is your your button. You got to push in to turn the key, turn the key to pull it, pull it all the way out for low plugs. This is your uh, your choke when you start it all the way up and let it warm up and then turn it back down. All the way down. Yep, all the way down when it's. So you got to manually warm um, it up. Basically, lights are right here. This switch, turn it all the way, and you got lights. There's like a million settings I don't understand. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be for, for the fog lights up front, the big round ones. It probably needs to be rewired. This is for the hood? That's the hood release. That's your controller for the back. And then when you shut the hood, because it's an old Mercedes hood, you gotta shut it. Got everything out of the Subi? Yeah. Everything's out? Okay, well, let's go. It is, I can't, I don't know if you guys can see how massive That's it is. Massive. Put your hand, put your hand on it. That is a massive steering wheel. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm kind of sad it's automatic, but oh well. Oh, uh, whatever. It's sick though. Extra tank, I don't know what that is, but yeah, we're, we're chilling. Oh God. <laughs> Alright, don't breathe. We can't fog up the windows. Don't breathe. Are you just pumped right now? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really know yet. 
Got to adjust the mirror. There's no mirror on this side. <laughs> no, it came, it came factory like that. It came factory with no mirror on the right side. Yeah. So all you guys, that and that. Oh, here we go. We're driving. On bags, you know. That's the only reason we bought it. Oh, there's the uh, the hood ornament. <laughs> He's got some airhead gum for us. You literally have to push the gas pedal like three quarters of the way down before it starts going. <laughs> Shit. Oh. oh god. Wow, that was that was floating. Dude, he said this thing was gonna float on the road. It's literally, it's just a big old floater. It's hilarious. I can't even express to you guys how hilarious this car is. Discovered there are no blind spots in the entire car. It is just wide open. Yeah, okay, so well, the thing is with this with this uh, system, I don't know what it is. It's like CC, CCE something. But um, so you should have seen this thing when it came up. It was just like boom, like straight up because there's no regulator or whatever. Pretty sure it's just because there's no management. But it's like the controls are just like sitting right here. It's old school. Old school. I don't even know how it works, but uh, yeah, it uh, it works, I guess. And like, I well, I cannot wait till I, Steve airs it out because it's just gonna go straight to the ground. It's gonna be sick for video. It's just gonna go. Watch this thing air out. All the way. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, Steve! Oh my god! That's actually god. sick, aired out. It's That's so sick. cool. This thing's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so cool. Man, it is another day. It's another dollar. We're with uh, my man's Curtis right now. We're about to go outside and give you guys an update on um, the 240. Um, and this is actually going to be part of the video of Steve buying his car. I'm just closing out the video with giving you guys an update on the 240 and how that's all going in the process of that. So let's go. Yeah, and I also bought, um, so Chris, Curtis uh, hasn't really ridden in it yet, but I also bought a daily. Um, this thing so this used to be my daily um, and now this thing is my daily and I mean it's a great car um, it's a b5 s4 <laughs> my face is bright but it's a b5 s4 well I might make a video about that car later and how I bought that car why I bought that car and all that kind of stuff so I'll, I'll make a video about that later but for now let's open El garage okay opening oh gosh oh <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's so depressing. Got the ruckus. Okay, anyways, so just to give you guys like a rough like background of like what's been going on and like since our last vlog, which I don't even know what our last my our last vlog was. So anyways, we pulled the motor. Um motor's out of the car. I mean you can't really see it right now, but we pulled the motor, everything's out. Um, we got seats out. We and basically what we did um, after we got the motor out is I scrubbed the entire engine bay. So under here you can see like it's all I don't know. I'm, I'm probably gonna take this stuff off. Okay, so I took that off. Um, basically, um, so if you guys saw in the past in the previous vlogs that uh, this thing was not so much uh, clean, it was pretty bad actually. So all of this was just full of just absolute crap it was it was terrible um so i basically took like four hours and just completely like blasted all this not really sandblasted it but i took like a sandpaper and i just like scrubbed the whole engine bay down all that and then um we took the wiring harness out so this is completely out now um wiring harness is for sale so if you guys are in the market for an s13 wiring harness it is a stock wiring harness we actually did label it too so 
kind of took away that hassle for the next owner of this wiring harness. Anyways, so now moving on to the interior, we completely, completely stripped out the interior. The whole dash is gone. The big dash bar is gone. If you can see in here, I'm just stepping into my little death trap of a car. Anyway, so yeah, the steering wheel, it's actually not bolted on there, but yeah. So um, the plan is to uh, paint the whole interior. So we're gonna pull the carpet up, pull the sound ending out. Um, but for now, uh, this is all taken apart so we can paint the interior. My wiring is a freaking mess. It is terrible. I hate it. Everything back here is just a complete mess and we have to organize it all. But, um, yeah, so basically everything's taken apart. Headliner's out, we're doing a custom headliner. And then, let me hop out of the car here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's take a look at the back. So this is actually the bar. Um, I'll show you a before and after picture, like right here. Of what this bar used to look like. This bar was rusted out. We painted it. So that bar actually goes up in the dash. Up right there, goes right across there, and then that's what that's what like holds the dash in. Anyways, so um, back here we're like just like this this stuff. So this is what actual 240 sound deadening stuff looks like. Um, this is actually the tub, like the actual like whatever it's called, chassis, whatever. And this is actually the uh, sound deadening. So what you do is you take dry ice, put it on there, and you just smash it with a hammer. It comes right off, just chips right off, which is cool. So and then. We're gonna paint this whole thing. I ordered a cage, so I have a full cage that's going back here. It's gonna look super sick. <sighs> Extra tires, uh, yeah. Um, no comment. Those are bliz <laughs> those, those, those are, are th they're blizzaks. Look at that second one set. Yeah, yeah, dude, the second one is so <laughs> <That> bad. Is. <laughs> yeah, so this is an actual tire, and that is what a those blizzak. Are those are blizzaks. You are, you I, are I a actually, mad man. I know, I actually <laughs> destroyed my blizzaks. But there's the hood. We're actually gonna keep the stock hood and we're just gonna sand that down and then paint the car. Um, so when it comes to painting the car, it's like a secret color. Um, a lot of my friends know it, a lot of that uh, people know it, but I guess I can say the secret is out. Um, I am going Rocket Bunny V2. Um, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, please, this will be the third or fourth real Rocket Bunny kit uh, in the United States. So the real V2 S13 hash Rocket Bunny kit. So I'm super stoked it's gonna be here next week and I'm so excited for that. I ordered my wheels, I ordered um, everything else that I need, I did. <clears throat> So a little rough update on the 240 motor, the SR20. Um, it's down in Indiana, or like right on the border of Indiana and Michigan right now with my friend Mike. Mike has this S14. And he is actually uh, building my motor for me. I just got my forged rods in today. Uh, I have forged rods, or sorry, my forged pistons in today. So I got forged rods, forged pistons, um, Tomei cams for the for the head. I got um, A50cc injectors and a ton of more parts that I don't even know because Mike is the smart guy, I'm the dumb guy, and he's just building my motor for me. Anyways, so yeah, we took the doors off. Um, doors gotta be sanded and all that kind of stuff. So all this, Interior of the car, so I guess you can, I'll, I'll give away the uh, what we're painting the engine bay and the interior of the car. The whole engine bay is gonna be gold and the, old, and the entire interior, including the cage, is all gonna be gold. So um, everything that you see back here is all gonna be gold um, and then the dash is gonna be um, all fully custom made and we're probably gonna do some like diamond stitching with it, some gold diamond stitching with it just to accent the engine bay color. Well, um, my suspension, I'm gonna keep that a secret because we're doing a really, really, really special kind of suspension setup it's gonna actually be air ride on coilovers but what? it's yeah what anyway so um that's gonna be all uh in the future i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what the 240 status is and it's pretty sad it's pretty depressing like look at this car it is just it's been through better days it's just a rolling piece of metal right now. I can't even believe we have the suspension on, but yeah, it's just sitting in my garage at my apartment. We are planning on doing some stuff um, pretty soon to it. So um, once I, uh, I have to move out of this apartment in like a week, then I'm moving into a new apartment and then probably getting a house, all that hoo-ha, jazzy juha. So yeah, uh, anyways, I'm gonna close out the video here, guys. Um, it's gonna be back to the mid motion vlogs. We're probably just gonna keep pumping them out on random dates, but I will let you guys know uh, follow us on Instagram at Motion. We're going to throw lots of shows and we're going to throw many car meets next year.
Curtis, stay. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Peace. Have a great night.